I can reveal where the World War III could officially start. <laughs> if I would uh, show you uh, all footages of real war, uh, you would be vomiting and my channel would be shut down. Every serious army in the world is developing and improving drones. The war mongers should shut up or stand against those birds. <laughs> Some of you uh, recommended me not to be grumpy, but how not to be grumpy uh, on video talking about war and stupidity of uh, so-called leaders we don't have any leaders nowadays in the in entire world they are not that caliber every serious army in the world is developing and improving drones the future warfare will not be a far cry from the previous wars. We can compare this uh, cornerstone uh, with invention of guns versus swords, artillery versus cavalry, etc. Let me explain you once again uh, what real war means. Those uh, who have fought in Afghanistan, Iraq, wherever, who uh, spend the uh, time in uh, in the gym and some escorts and patrols uh, on occupied territories they actually haven't seen real war real war is what is happening let's say in ukraine in eastern ukraine uh, in syria uh, there was real war also, uh, Israel and uh, Palestine are in real war. Let me tell you what the, f what the real war is. You have no clue. A friend of mine, James, uh, he told me that uh, on another YouTube channel, uh, there was a guest, one uh, US veteran, who fought uh, in Ukraine. And guess what? He was totally traumatized. He said this is nothing to compare with war. This is the last uh, resort before any war should be diplomacy i don't know what the heck is going on with this world why everybody not everybody but many people are advocating war do they have a clue what they are talking about no they don't i think uh, many people who advocate for war, they would uh, disappear and from comfort of their uh, armchair, they would be commenting like, uh, our guys did this and that. But let me uh, tell you something. Uh, the war really is turning into a totally different dimension from previous 2D uh, vision with the uh, invention and uh, deployment of uh, drones, various kinds of drones. Now we have 3D vision of the battlefield and that's scary, believe me. While I was uh, fighting, we could see around and we, we could only guess uh, according to and calculate according to 
the sound of uh, artillery, how far, what, what direction is artillery firing from. Now, when you send a drone, small little bird, it gives you geolocation, precise geolocation, and artillery can fire back. But there are different kinds of drones, uh, from large Reaper type uh, or uh, Akinji from Turkey, then middle uh, range, uh, let's say Bayraktar TB2. Now they they developed uh, Bayraktar TB3, which is of course improved. Then there are kamikaze drones. The most uh, famous these days are Shahid drones from Iran. But uh, also being produced uh, in Russian Federation, despite of uh, sanctions. And in previous videos I explained how uh, the sanctions and why the sanctions do not work and they won't work. I just came back from Poland, Eastern Europe or Eastern flank of uh, NATO, uh, the country which uh, borders with uh, war-torn Ukraine. And I can tell you that uh, Okay, partially because of uh, that NATO uh, drill in uh, eastern flank, all the way from uh, Finland, uh, Baltic states, uh, down to Romania, through Poland. Uh, people are, or authorities are preparing uh, also the shelters also nuclear shelters, which, guess what, uh, they figured out are <laughs> not uh, sufficient for entire population because most of uh, those uh, shelters have been constructed during Cold War and population of uh, each and every country uh, at that time in let's say 50s, 60s, 70s, were much smaller than today. So po population growth maybe is the reason why certain, let's say, elites uh, pursue, uh, instead of uh, diplomatic solutions, for war options because it brings profit. Yeah, it's good to profit. And yeah, of course, uh, most of them are in senior age and they would have a very good excuse. Like, I'm too old to fight. Uh, I would gladly go to war and help our guys. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm too old. And guess what? So many elderly people are getting killed in uh, each conflict. You can be two meters tall, full of muscles, spend in the gym, uh, let's say, five hours per day. You can be fit, you know, but it means nothing. Uh, when you go to the battlefield where your adversary is not a group of, uh, let's say, tribes, you know, uh, those guys uh, who fought in Afghanistan or uh, Iraq, uh, I would say, with due respect, I would say they were on safari, you know. 
That was not war. Uh, many of uh, those uh, war veterans uh, from from Western countries, they realized uh, what means real war when they applied and uh, joined the ranks of uh, international units, voluntary units in Ukraine, and fought against very strong adversary. So they realized it's nothing, not even a far cry from what they experienced before. You know, it was very easy and very comfortable. You, uh, you come to a village, they start shooting, you just call on radio, your command center and uh, order, okay, uh, hit that uh, village with a uh, few big shells. And they do it. But guess what? In Ukraine, uh, there is no such thing like uh, uh, friendly uh, aircrafts. And then you realized that you stuck in a trench or foxhole and nobody, nobody can help you. You cannot even help yourself. Despite of your muscles, this and that. And you are very precise shooter, you know. You love weapons, you grow up with weapons. But guess what? You will not even see your enemy. Before the enemy arrives, you would be shelled like for days, whole week. If you survive, then you are like unlucky or lucky to see your enemy. <laughs> Do you think it's uh, something appealing? Or it's better to advocate for more diplomacy, more mediation, negotiations, even arbitration? These are not uh, uh, synonyms. There are just different levels of uh, conflict uh, resolution. <laughs> if uh, you would feel the smell of the war, you would hate it. I'm war veteran, sick of the war, and that's why this channel exists. I was thinking about uh, uh, going from Poland to Baltic states as well, but, uh, you know, my channel is too small. It started uh, just a few months ago, and I don't have enough uh, subscribers, but uh, if I had uh, some additional funds, uh, let's say uh, some sponsorship, uh, I would gladly go and uh, do some uh, more thorough and more quality uh, videos. I can also tell you that uh, if not or already, but we are, uh, we are very close to the World War Three. I can reveal uh, where the World War III could officially start. You know, uh, from the example of uh, World War II, we understand, the history says, that World War II didn't start uh, just like that. It started uh, gradually, until uh, Third Reich uh, attacked uh, Poland. Yeah, uh, in Tucker Carl Carlson's interview, Putin claimed totally opposite. He said 
Poland invaded or attacked uh, Nazi Germans. Rubbish. I can't believe that Tucker Carlson, he uh, has a, a degree in history and he's followed that uh, BS. <laughs> but it's his problem, not, not mine, not yours. When uh, Poland was invaded by uh, Third Reich, then United Kingdom, France and other countries declared the war against uh, Nazi Germans in 1939. So that's official beginning of World War II. But before that, uh, Nazi Germans uh, took control over Austria, part of uh, former Czechoslovakia, and stuff like that. So, the next location could be the, loca the same location where uh, the Grand War or World War I started. That's Balkans. The Balkans is uh, famous as a soft belly of Europe. And current uh, European Union, although uh, recently they, the administration or leadership of uh, this super state, quasi state, uh, intensified its uh, efforts to uh, incorporate Western Balkans into European family. Although Balkans is in the heart of Europe, but, uh, you know, hesitancy of uh, the European Union to to accept uh, Western Balkans in full membership actually uh, goes in favor of uh, Putin's uh, plans. There are uh, several prominent figures in Western Balkans who openly support uh, Putin, Vladimir Vladimirovich, and even visited him uh, in the middle of uh, aggression against Ukraine and dreaming about uh, secession from Bosnia and Herzegovina, for instance. Did you know that? Uh, uh, in Serbia, part of Bosnia and partially in Mon Montenegro, uh, about 80%, 80, 80 to 88 percent, according to several public polls, people are supporting uh, the war against Ukraine or how they say uh, special military operation in Ukraine and it's large Russophilia or let's say uh, Putinophilia. Let me congratulate uh, landslide victory to Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin on fair elections uh, closely monitored by armed forces. <laughs> they were even uh, checking uh, inside the polling booths. Ah, that's very transparent. Very transparent, I guess. Maybe too transparent. <laughs> In conclusion, I think when somebody is advocating for peace 
people have wrong perception or conclusion that uh, you know it, we are talking about three huggers or something no i'm not three hugger i'm peacemaker but uh, with lot of uh, experience and i'm uh, warning everybody who didn't experience what i experienced don't go to war it's nothing glorious in that in one previous video i tried uh, to communicate uh, this message but maybe i used uh, language that uh, you know vocabulary that uh, many people didn't understand that's why now i'm using uh, just uh, plain words so that uh, more of you can easily understand my message if uh, our leaders say let's go to war i would like to see them in front of me or in front of you and then we all follow you know but guess what they are not going to be there they are that too important you know they have to think about strategy the head of state which by the way you and me elected and we can elect somebody else so they are not uh, you know god given my previous video was faceless and <laughs> i realized the uh, one thing obviously uh, it had uh, more views than my uh, talking head like this one video <laughs> maybe i'm no longer a pretty boy so put in the comments below would you like uh, to uh, to have from peacemaker by adnan habu uh, more faceless videos or something like this and very soon we will have uh, more podcasts i'm trying to uh, establish contact uh, with some uh, interesting interlocutors for next uh, podcast and i hope uh, this message will find the open door from your side let me see something you still haven't su subscribed okay Never mind, but it would be good. See you.